Hi, John Conley with Pro Tool Services, and I'm back with Clip Gain Part 2. In Clip Gain Part 1, you'll recall we talked about using Clip Gain to change the volume of an entire clip or dynamically change the volume within a clip without having to edit it. The waveform size instantly updates to show you the volume changes you've made. Okay, now we're going to show a couple of examples of how clip gain can be really helpful in resolving typical recording issues. This first one is a plosive P, the puff of air coming off of the letter P. Maybe someone a little bit too close to the microphone makes this big puffing sound. You can easily fix it. Let's listen to this. Common issues such as P as in Pro Tools. All right, I've got two examples there, and I can see them right here. Here's one and the second one right there. The waveform actually shows me there's a peak in audio there in volume, but I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit. P as in P. There it is. I'm going to make a selection. I have my clip gain line visible, so I'm just going to reduce that and grab one of those little break points. And now I can kind of massage that. I don't want to remove it completely. As P as in pro. I'm going to get rid of it very gently as P as in Pro Tool. Okay, so there's one and here's the second. We'll take that one down just a little bit and again fade it in a little bit. Let's see what that sounds as like. Pro Tools. As in Pro Tool. That's a little bit too much. I've gotten rid of the P altogether. I don't want to do that. As in Pro Tool. In Pro Tools. Okay, so I can manipulate it and not get rid of the P, but tame it a little bit. Another handy use of clip gain is to take care of hard S's as a de -esser. Now, if I had a bunch of problems with S's in this song or podcast or audiobook or whatever the case may be, I would probably use a de or plug-in. But if I have one or two, it's quite simple to go in and just de-emphasize those a little bit and fix them up. This S isn't so hard as it is. It's a little bit longer, so I want to just kind of tame it down a bit. All right, let's, hear, let's listen to it. Tools. You can hear that. It's right after the P's that we just fixed. Pro Tools. All right, so that S is a little bit long. I'll make a selection, use my Smart Tool, trim it down one corner like that. Let's see what that sounds like. Tools. You can hear in Pro Tools. And that might even be too much. Tools. In Pro Tools. Okay, here's with it, here's without it. In Pro Tools. And I can de-emphasize it back. In Pro Tools. All right. Okay, here's another very handy use. I use this all the time. I record stuff at home. My recording environment is not pristine. There's noise, there's refrigerator, there's air conditioning, there's traffic going by outside. All these things are picked up in my recordings. While I'm speaking, it's not so much of an issue. It's the pauses in between the phrases where that background noise can be heard, especially if there's no music bed or anything else in the recording. It's just voice, like an audio book or a voiceover. That background noise becomes quite apparent. Clip gain can be used to easily minimize that. Now, I don't want to delete it completely in between these phrases here because then it will sound completely silent and unnatural. So I'm going to play this. Let's listen to it. All right, what else? We have noise in between phrases. So when I'm speaking, it's okay. When I'm not speaking, okay, I can see that there's a little small waveform in between there. So I'm going to make a selection and there's some mouth noise on this one too. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to take it down by about 15 dB or so, 15, 16 dB. And again, when I do this sort of thing, I want to avoid right angles, right? Because if that's going to, that's going to make a very abrupt volume gain change, which uh, in itself might be quite noticeable. So I try to avoid right angles and just angle, ramp up the volume changes up and down a little bit. I'll do the same thing here, make a selection. Again, I'm using the uh, smart tool to make these clip gain changes. 
and I have the clip gain line visible just to refresh if you don't have the clip gain line visible right click in the clip go to clip gain and show line it's hidden I mean it's visible now so I can hide line hide the line or bring it back clip gain show line alright so I'll make my selection in between the phrase here and I'll gain it down by about I don't know 15 16 DB grab each breakpoint and just and this will clean up the audio quite significantly all right what else we have noise in between phrases. So when I'm speaking, it's okay. When I'm not speaking, now that one I can hear a little bit. Ramp it out just a little bit more. Okay, when I'm not speaking, so this should clean up the whole recording, make it sound a lot better. Even though I'm not getting rid of that audio, that noise in between completely, I'm reducing it by 12 or 15 dB, which uh, helps quite significantly. I don't know if you can hear it in this recording and what you're listening on, but um, it's quite effective for your recordings if you're recording in, a, in an environment that's you know a little bit noisier than it should be.